Hello and welcome back to another GCN training session. Quite a long session today, 60 minutes, and we're going to be doing the reverse steps. We're we'll mixing it up with quite a few different efforts, varying, varying in duration and effort. But right now, we just want to jump on the bike, start spinning our legs nice and easy. We're going to have a good warm up before we get into the first effort. So just jump on, two minutes, just nice, easy pedaling, around walking pace. Nice low resistance and your easiest gear, just working at around 80 RPM. Just get the legs moving, blood pumping around the body, waking ourselves up a little bit. I'm gonna do another minute, just over a minute at this intensity, and then we're just gonna to start to ramp it up and then end the warm up on a high, then a little rest, and then get straight into the first effort. We've got a great team with us here today. We've got Laura and Maddie at the back. Katie and Emily on the front, they're going to be working out with you today. Great team. Going to be keeping the motivation high here, getting through this long session. 60 minutes. I'm going to do another 45 seconds at this intensity. Make sure you've got enough water with you for this session. A fan and a towel maybe. It's going to get sweaty. 30 seconds to go now. Next up, we're just going to ramp it up to a four out of ten. All the efforts here today are going to be done on a one to ten effort level. One being nice and easy, obviously, and ten being ten out of ten, max effort, everything you've got. And we are going to be working at that ten out of ten today, so get ready for that. In five, four, three, two, one. Now I just want to ramp it up to four out of ten. Gonna put that resistance up a little bit, click down a few gears, a little bit more pressure on the legs. Heart rate should start to come up now. Breathing start to get a little bit heavier. I'm just gonna do another 40 seconds at this intensity, and then we're gonna bring it back down to a nice easy pedal. So our first block of effort today is going to be a one minute, a two minute, three minute, four minute and five minute. So that's going to be one block and each minute is going to be at a different intensity. So we're going to start off at a 10 out of 10 for one minute, then two minutes at nine out of 10 and so on until the five minutes. Five seconds to go now. Now two minutes, bring it back. A one out of ten, nice easy pedaling. Quite a progressive warm up. Got plenty of time to warm up properly. Two minutes of this intensity, nice easy pedaling. Emily, how important is a good warm up when you're doing really hard efforts on the turbo? Oh yeah, like without a good warm up, you're going to be struggling in those first few efforts. So it's important to get the legs moving and the heart pumping, a bit of blood around the body. How, how high would you let your heart rate go in a warm up? Um, it depends what I'm doing, but I think sometimes I'd almost try and hit like close to a max heart rate just to, you almost got to that point already. So then it doesn't feel as horrible when you so get you hit that first effort, effort ready, to, yeah, exactly. ready to smash it. Yeah, nice. One more minute now, nice easy pedaling. Then we'll just ramp it back up to that four out of ten. So as I said, we've got a bit of everything in today's session. Some short one minute efforts at ten out of ten. Then we've got nice long efforts, five minutes long at a little bit lower intensity. So we're working all the different capacities today. 30 more seconds. Nice, easy pedaling. Yeah, 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 yeah. 20 seconds to go now. Keeping that cadence around 80 RPM. 80 revolutions per minute, basically how fast your legs go around in one minute. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one, let's ramp it up a little bit, four out of 10. A little bit more resistance and we're gonna sit here for three minutes now. So you should definitely start to feel your heart rate come up. Sit into it. So these efforts, we're gonna be hitting quite a high power and high intensity to start with and then we're gonna just be decreasing the intensity throughout the session. So we're gonna do three 15 minute blocks, which sounds quite long. But because yeah. we're changing the intensity yeah. up quite a lot, yeah. it's going to be quite easy yeah. to get through. Yeah. 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 And you're in great company, so yeah. it's going to be great. Yeah. 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 One minute down, two minutes to go. Then we're going to have a short rest and then we're going to get into it. So make the most of this because it's going to be juicy. over a minute and a half to go now. Should maybe start to break out on a sweat. Heart rate should be getting a little bit higher. And a quick rest and then straight into it. So the first effort is gonna be one minute, 10 out of 10. Then we're gonna go into two minutes at nine out of 10 and so on. So it's off to quite a hard start. A nice, a nice long warm up and we're ready to hit it. So into the final minute now of rolling at a four out of 10. Keep that resistance on the pedals. Keep the legs turning. It's gonna be quite nasty this first effort, just to warn you. 40 seconds to go now. Thirty seconds. Twenty, nearly there. Good work. Ten seconds to go. I'm going to bring it back for a nice, easy one out of ten. Three. Two, one, drop that resistance back. Nice, easy pedaling for one minute. But don't relax too much because we're going to get straight into it in this first one minute at a 10 out of 10. So maybe give it another 20 seconds and then you want to start thinking about what gear you're going to be in. You want quite a lot of resistance in this one, so choose quite a big gear. And we're going to go full gas at a 10 out of 10 for one minute. Coming up to 30 seconds to go. We all feeling warmed up, guys? Ready to hit it? That's what we like. Right, 25 seconds to go. Are we ready? Start thinking about that gear. So I'm just gonna jump in my big ring. Put a little bit more resistance on the pedals. 15 seconds. One minute, 10 out of 10. Are we ready? In five. Four, three, two, one, go. One minute, 10 out of 10, full gas. Try and hold the effort level throughout. It might take you 10, 15 seconds to find your rhythm. It's gonna feel pretty hard. Just trying to hold it all the way. Good work, guys. Drive through the pedals. Hold quite a nice resistance, around 90, 95 RPM. Over halfway now. We're gonna go straight into the next effort, which is two minutes at nine out of 10. So bring that intensity back a tiny bit. Good work. Nearly there. Keep pushing, five seconds. Three. 
two, one, and bring it back a tiny bit. But keep holding that resistance. Settle into it. Two minutes now. Good work, everyone. Just remember, it's only going to get easier. We're not going back to that 10 out of 10. It's going to feel a little bit disgusting. These first few minutes. It's just... This is as if you were doing maybe you get to a top of a climb and you're already like going flat out and then the peloton attacks up the top you just have to keep going this is the kind of effort level we're looking at good work one minute down for this nine out of ten effort one more minute to go looking so good guys great effort all that power through the legs drive those pedals nice strong core strong upper body nice and still on the bike sit into it again always good to practice maybe being on the drops when you're training inside mix up the positions a little bit 30 more seconds now come on Push, push, push. Remember pushing nine out of ten. This is hard. Keep going. Looking so good, guys. Great effort. Ten seconds to go now. Then we're going to drop it down to, down to an eight out of ten. Five, four, three, two, one. So eight out of ten for three minutes now. Again, maybe just bring that resistance back a little bit. 15, 20 watts. I'm gonna carry on pushing. Still working hard, no rest. And we keep sipping on that drink. It's as you can see, we're all starting to sweat a lot now. Just getting hot and sweaty. Good work. We're getting it done. Great effort. Should start to feel that little bit easier now. Now they're working at an 8 out of 10. Oh my word, these are savage efforts. Starting off with that 10 out of 10. Then straight into the next one, no break. It is tough. So all hurting, don't you worry. Heart rate should be nice and high. Heart rate probably won't drop a lot in this effort. Because we're always going to be working at above 6 out of 10. The heart rate will remain quite high. And as you get hotter, your heart rate's going to naturally become higher. Good work. Halfway through this 8 out of 10 effort now. Feeling good, guys? Hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feeling nice it's and very hot. Up. Yeah. We're into it. Savage, isn't it? I see you looking at me. Not much rest in this session at all. It's an hour long. We're pretty much working the entire hour, which is always good, I guess. <laughs> if you're into that. Nearly into the last minute now. Keep pushing, guys. Next up, we're going to drop it down. A seven out of ten for four minutes. Again, a tiny little bit easier. Not much. 15, 20 watts at the most. Maybe just click into an easier gear, turn your resistance a little bit. If you add up all these minutes, three times 15 minutes, that's 45 minutes of work we're doing today. And then we're just having 15 minutes of warming up and cooling down, a little rest in between. So 45 minutes of really hard work in this session. Nearly there, 20 more seconds. It's 8 out of 10. Keep pushing guys, looking great. Again, remember to look at our guests. Look at their position. Look what gear they're in, what RPM they're doing. How they hold themselves on the bike. 
really experienced riders with us today, so learning from the best. Right, drop it down to seven out of 10 now. Tiny little bit easier. Four minutes, so the effort le level is getting a little bit longer as we go along. So we've got this four minutes, and then a five minutes, and then we're done. It's quite nice, quite a nice way of doing it. Try and keep on those pedals. All the power out. Seven out of ten. This is kind of the point where you're pushing along on the road and you're just maybe struggling to say a few sentences. You will be working quite hard. Nearly a minute down now. Good work. Seven out of ten. This is another great session that you can repeat on the turbo or you can head out on the road to do. It's a great session maybe if you've got a really long road ride, maybe three or four hours and it can be a bit boring just riding along for that amount of time. So you can chuck a few of these 15 minute blocks in to mix it up, help the time go a little bit quicker. I always help it finds to throw a few different intervals in there to pass the time. And do these on the flat or on a climb. Nearly halfway through this effort now. Two more minutes to go. Looking super strong. Again, just keep sipping on that drink. Because we are really starting to sweat now. Whew. Into the last two minutes. Great work, everyone. Trying to keep pushing all that power up through the legs. Nice, strong core. Nice, strong upper body. On the turbo indoors is a great place to practice all these little techniques. A minute and a half now. Great work and then we're into the final one. And then we're going to have a very short two minute rest. Sorry to break it to you. And then we're going to get straight back into it in the next effort. In the next 15 minute block. Good work. Again, feel free to stand up the saddle, have a little move around. Make sure you're always working at a seven out of 10. But feel free to change up that position because it can be quite long to sit in the same position. Might get a little bit sore. It's always good to mix it up a little bit. Into the last minute now. Good work. Forty-five seconds. Come on. Seven out of ten. Thirty seconds. Good work. Nice. Good job, everyone. Twenty seconds to go now. Then we're going to knock it back to a six out of ten. Tiny little bit easier again. 10 seconds to go now. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Six out of 10. Tiny little bit easier for five minutes. Long one, this one. Settle into it. Might take you maybe 20 seconds to find that six out of 10. But again, it's quite a, quite a fair amount of resistance. You might be able to say a few sentences now, but you still want to be working quite hard. Good work. How would we sum this session up so far, guys? It's mentally quite difficult, but I think once you get your head around, like being able to push for that amount of time, I think it would do you good. Like if you're trying to do something in a race, you know. Yeah, definitely. I guess it is quite hard, these kind of longer efforts and just going out quite hard. And in that first minute, you're like, how am I going to get through the next 
10 minutes, but once you, yeah, once you do get around that, you settle into it. And we are getting a little bit easier every, every minute, so it's not too bad. Yeah, and then you just realize that your limit's higher than thought it was, so I guess it is good mental training as well as physical training. Definitely, and it can be, as you guys will know, quite hard when you're out on the road and the race is going full gas and you're like, how long can I sustain this? But eventually, at some point, it does ease up. Most of the time, anyway. Three and a half minutes to go now. Good work. 20 minutes into the session. Just a little bit less than 40 minutes to go. Keep sipping on that drink. Three minutes. You're all good at the back. All good. That's what we like. Still smiling though, which is good. <laughs> Will you be smiling at the end though? Who knows? <laughs> That's going to be my aim. To make sure they don't smile at the end. I'll be evil. Two and a half minutes now. Over halfway through this effort. need anything too crazy with a cadence around 80 85 rpm kind of cadence that you do when you're just rolling out on the road Whew. two minutes to go now come on guys great work nearly there nice oh, two minutes now Pushing all the way through. No easing up, don't be working at that five out of 10. Six out of 10. Always pushing on those pedals. Nice strong core. Minute and a half now. Keep those legs turning. We're getting there. Pushing. Nearly into the last minute now. These kind of workouts and efforts are going to make you so much stronger on the bike. Working on every kind of intensity from that 10 second, 10 out of 10 effort right at the start, all the way through to this 6 out of 10 for 5 minutes. Make you fitter, faster and stronger out on the bike. Thirty seconds to go now, nearly there. Then we can have a nice two minutes, easy pedaling and relax. Twenty seconds to go. Good work. So close. Ten seconds, nearly there. Keep pedaling. In five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop it right back. Stop pedaling for a few seconds. We've got two minutes now just to relax. Spin the legs, get rid of that lactic acid. Nice and gently. Sit up, have a little stretch. Been in that position for quite a while. All 15 minutes there. How was that first block, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Speechless. you can feel the burn. Um, I think with these sessions, even though it's, it's an hour long ride on the bike, it's so important to keep on drinking. Oh, definitely. Look how much we're sweating on the one. We need it's to replace this fluid. Cool of sweat. So, yeah, just like keep drinking, I think, for this one. Yeah, definitely. It's a long, long time to be on the indoor trainer. You do sweat a lot inside. So, this next block is going to be a tiny little bit different 
just switching things up a little bit. We're going to be going hard, easy, hard, easy. So picking it up and dropping it down. It's got one minute now. Nice, easy pedaling. Then we can get straight into this first one. So we've got a one minute effort and a two minute effort at quite hard intensities. And then we're going to throw in a tiny little rest in the middle. Thought you'd quite like that. And then we're going to go back into it. Easy pedaling now. Got 15 seconds to go. So, first one, one minute, 10 out of 10. So, start thinking about that gear, get that resistance up. Five seconds now in quite hard gear, and we go flat out 10 out of 10. In two, one, let's go, 10 out of 10. Up out the saddle, get that cadence up. That power up, working really hard for this first minute. Come on guys, great work. Come on, 10 out of 10. This is as if you're sprinting for the line in a race. Really hard effort. 40 seconds to go now. Nice high cadence. Keep that strong upper body. Halfway through, come on. This is where it starts to bite, halfway through. 25 seconds to go and then we're going to do two minutes at nine out of ten so dropping it back a tiny little bit come on 15 seconds get those pain faces out it's hurting we're all hurting here five seconds to go now come on two one nine out of ten drop it back a tiny little bit still keeping Quite a lot of resistance on that, on those pedals. Oh, that got me. Good work. Nice. Find that rhythm, settle into it. Nine out of 10. Keeping that heart rate high, but RPM high. We really start to struggle now. After that one minute, 10 out of 10. This one maybe hurts a little bit more than that one minute did. Because we're going straight from a very, very high intensity to a longer effort. A little bit easier, but not much. So don't worry if you're really feeling it, because we all are. Really tough, this one. Into the last minute now. Heart rate should be peaking really high. Looking great. Great effort, everyone. Good work. 40 seconds to go now. And then we're gonna have a nice little break of one minute. Thought I'd treat you. 30 seconds to go. Good work. Nice, strong position on the bike. Again, make sure to look at our guests. Look how composed they look. They might look composed, but they're suffering inside. I know they are. 15 seconds. Good work. Come on, team. 10 seconds. Nice. In five, four, three, two, one. Drop it back. One minute now. I want to try and keep yeah. Keep the pedals turning just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit harder when you stop. Yeah. Yeah. Keep those pedals turning a little bit. And then we're going to go into another two minutes at nine out of ten. It's juicy. 30 seconds to go now. Just want to keep on it. Keep those pedals turning. Feel better for it when we go into this next effort. So you want to pick back up at that same intensity just before the rest, okay? We good, guys? Yeah. 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 <laughs> good. Right. Are we ready in 10 seconds? Get that gear ready. Get those legs ready. 
We're going in five, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Let those legs turn in. Nine out of ten for two minutes now. It's going to feel really hard, especially just after a little bit of rest. Your legs just want to stop. Settle into it. Find that rhythm. Good work. Again, keep that cadence at around 90 RPM. Nothing too crazy. Good work. Looking strong. Let's try and get through your session as best as you can. Try and get the most out of it. Just over a minute left now. Good work, you're all doing so well, guys. Keep pushing. Into the last minute now. Good work, heart rate should be back up high again after that little rest. Again, feel free to get out the saddle. Little move around. Mix up that position. 40 seconds to go. Next up, we're going to go straight into three minutes at seven out of ten. So taking it down two intensities now. Click down a few gears. 30 seconds to go. Try and keep nice and composed. Keep that breathing under control. 20 seconds. Keep on it. 15 seconds. I know it's hurting. Push through it. Pain is temporary. In five. Three, two, one. Down to a seven out of ten effort now. Let's drop it back a tiny little bit. And we're going to bring that cadence down as well. So around 80 RPM we want to look now. So those legs are turning a little bit slower. We're sitting here for another two minutes and 36 seconds. Settle into it. We're over halfway through the session now. Doing great. Made it this far. to make it all the way to the finish. We're going to feel so good after this. The thought of getting on the turbo and smashing out an hour probably isn't that appealing. But when you get off, you'll feel great. All those good endorphins will be buzzing. Two minutes to go now. Seven out of ten. Effort. Good work. So as I said, we're mixing it up a little bit in this next block. So after this, this seven out of ten, we're going to ramp it back up to a nine out of ten. Yep. It's tasty. So again, this is going to really hurt the legs. It's going to be great for you. Good work. We sit in at that nine out of ten for two minutes again. So just dropping that intensity a tiny bit and then bringing it back up. So again, as if you're in a race and the race has just eased up a tiny bit. And then someone attacks and you follow and you chase. So we're going to repeat those efforts a few times, a 7 out of 10, back up to a 9 out of 10 a few times. So 50 seconds left at this 7 out of 10. Enjoy this 7 out of 10. It's just going to get a little bit hard. 45 seconds to go. Good work. Keep pushing. All the power through the legs. Now that we're over halfway through the session, your body might be getting a little bit tired. You might start to maybe rock and roll on the bike a bit. But really try and concentrate on that strong upper body on the bike. Pretend you're one of your favourite riders. Watch how they ride. Guessing they have a nice strong upper body. Nice and composed on the bike. Right, in 10 seconds. We're going to ramp it up. 
Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Nine out of ten. Pick it up. Good work. Again, we want to try and keep the cadence around 80 RPM. So I'm not spinning too fast. Quite a lot of resistance. So 80 revolutions per minute. Still feel quite tough on the legs. Quite a big gear. 30 seconds down already. Come on. Good work. Two minutes of this now. And your heart rate's going to be peaking quite high. And your legs are probably going to be burning because mine certainly are. Push through that pain. One minute down, one minute to go. Doing really well, guys. I'm nearly there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Over halfway through the session. 45 seconds to go now. Nice. 36 seconds. Keep pushing. All the way to the line. Next up, we're going to bring it back to a 7 out of 10 for 3 minutes. Just dropping down a little bit easier. 20 seconds now. Good work. Keep going. Keep pushing. 9 out of 10. Heart rate should be sky high. Good work. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 7 out of 10. Drop that resistance back a tiny little bit. Still turning the legs. 3 minutes now at this. So nearly through this next block. And then we've got another little bit of rest, okay? Good work. How do you describe this seven out of 10 effort? I think you're comfy and you can find a rhythm, but you're not really gonna be able to hold it for it's, it's definitely harder than endurance. Like you're, yeah. you're pushing on about tempo pace, but yeah, it's sustainable. But it's harder than you've done a max effort. Yeah, definitely. It, it probably feels quite different to if, as if you were fresh going into a seven out of ten effort. But we've just done a few nine out of ten efforts, so it's definitely going to feel a little bit harder than usual. It's almost like that pace where you've attacked in a race and then you just got to settle and yeah. just suffer, kind of at a sustainable pace. It hurts. How are we doing at the back? Still smiling? Oh, oh, they are. Oh, I've still got one 15 minute block. Wipe <laughs> those smiles off. Minute and a half to go now. I should feel quite uncomfortable, this effort. Nearly there. Nearly into the last minute. And then we're just going to ramp it down a notch for one minute. And that's going to be our last little effort in this block. So nearly there. Then we'll have another little rest. And then we're into the last block and then we're done. It's not long to go at all. Good work. 45 seconds now. Keep turning those pedals. Keep that resistance on. Thirty seconds. And mix up that position. Keep your hands on the drops. Twenty seconds to go. Fifteen.
five, four, three, two, one. Drop it back to six out of ten for one minute. This is the last little bit in this block. Then we'll have a nice little rest. Again, a tiny little bit easier. 10, 15 watts. Knock it down. Your heart rate should maybe start to come down a tiny little bit now. As we're going down to a six out of 10, definitely won't be as high as in that very first effort. 30 seconds to go. And then we can have a nice little rest. But keep pushing. 20 seconds to go, good work. Fifteen. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice easy pedaling now. Put it in your easiest gear. Spin out those legs. Oh, how do we find that block compared to the first one? Stephanie. Getting tougher as, it, as the session goes on, but um, yeah, it's really feel the burn in your legs. It's the initial hard efforts, and then it's just continuing that, like yeah. keeping that resistance on. Um, yeah, it is tough, but it's quite good at replicating, like Emily was saying, like in a race. So yeah. even if you don't race, it is just a tough session, but I know by the end, like we'll all be feeling really good that we did it. So yeah, and it, yeah, as, yes. as we said at the start, in this hour, we're working for a whole 45 minutes on which is a long time to be working hard. Just over a minute left of this nice, easy pedaling. Give your back a little stretch. Make sure to get some water on board. So this next effort is gonna be, you're all gonna hate me so much. Oh no. So, so much. Five minutes and nine out of 10. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let's do this! Right, we're gonna end on a high. Five minutes at nine out of ten. This is gonna be savage. It's gonna be so good. Let's do it, guys. 33 seconds to go before we get into this very first effort. Oh, it's gonna be tough. But we're gonna get through it. 20 seconds to go now. Make the most of this last bit of easy pedaling. We're gonna settle into it. Good five minutes now. Right, in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five minutes at nine out of 10. As this effort's a little bit longer, we probably don't want to go out as hard as we did in those one minutes because we won't last for five minutes. So it'll be start it off a tiny little bit easier. You want to pick a pace that you can sustain for five minutes, but you want to be right on the edge. Again, working at around 90 RPM. Nothing too crazy. Just settle into it. What kind of things do you guys think about when you're doing long efforts, like this, long painful efforts? I tend to break it up, so let's say I'm doing, I don't know, like I just split, like split it up into like quarters. Yeah, just usually. take it maybe minute by minute, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, and then it, um, like if I'm doing 20 minute um, effort, I split it up into five minutes. Yeah. And I don't really think about much. <laughs> I just feel the pain. Just embrace the pain. Yeah. Just get through it. Good job. Let's take it minute by minute. We'll assess how we're feeling every minute. Three minutes 40 to go now. So again, maybe start off a little bit easier in this one. And every minute we can just assess. If you're feeling good, you can ramp it up a tiny bit. Getting through it nicely. This is the hardest we're going to be working in this block. This is going to be the hardest bit. Then we're just going to decrease it, get slightly easier each 
time. So I'm going to go five, four, three, two, and one. Each again, a little bit easier in terms of effort. So how are we feeling? We're all good? Settle into it. Settle in. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So three minutes to go now. So if you're feeling good, you think you've got a little bit more to give in this one, go just maybe like 10, 15 watts harder. Then if the session off on a high. This is super tough. Probably one of the hardest sessions we've got on the channel. So do not be scared if you're really feeling it because it's a savage workout. You'll struggle to get sessions much harder than this. That's another minute down now. Assess how you're feeling. Get into the next minute. Only two more minutes to go. So we're getting through it. Slowly but surely. Good work, nearly there. We have got a variety of different sessions on the GCN training channel. Everything from 10 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour long, depending on how much time you've got to kill in the day to get your workout done. So make sure to check out some of the other different workouts. Some are great, some of the short ones are great to do. First thing in the morning when you get up, you haven't got much time, but you want to do something or at the end of the day. So nearly at the end of this minute, then we're into the very last minute of this nine out of 10. Into the last minute now. Again, assess how you're feeling. Push a little bit harder if you want to, if you're really, really feeling it. Just bring it back a little bit and try and hold that effort. Keep those legs taking it along. haven't got a cadence sensor, take a look at our guests, try and copy their pedals, copy how many times their legs go around in a minute. That'll give you something to distract yourself from the pain. Nearly at the end now, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going into an eight out of ten. Just knock it down a tiny little bit for four minutes now. You can settle into it. Tiny little bit easier. Good work. How are we feeling in this last block? Yeah. Good. Hanging on. <laughs> Hanging in there. I think we all are. All good at the back. Yeah, still there. Good. Doing great, guys. This has been one savage workout. I'm so glad you've been here to make it through with me because if I was on my own, it would have been a lot harder. So nearly a minute down now. And this eight out of 10. Again, eight out of 10 still pushing quite hard. Struggling to get a few words out. Three minutes to go. Good work. After a hard session like this, what's the first thing you do when you get off the bike after having a lay down? I think a session like this, You've lost so much water through sweat. I think just having a big drink, maybe having some electrolyte or a hydro tab in there. Yeah, definitely. Just to try and replenish something and then maybe get a recovery shake in or a meal. Yeah. Something balanced, I guess. And a shower. <laughs> oh, a shower would be good. Definitely, that would be needed. I feel like I definitely need a shower right now. <laughs> Nearly two minutes to go, halfway through this block. 
good work. What about when you've got a rest day? What's your favourite activity to do when you've got a rest day? Depends on how the week's been. <laughs> Maybe yeah. just lie in bed all day. <laughs> <laughs> Take a proper lazy day. Yeah. Netflix. Nice. <laughs> Whack a movie on, chill yeah. on the sofa. Maybe stay in your pyjamas all day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like after this session, we've definitely need to sit day, so we can do that. Nearly there. So nearly there. Less than 10 minutes to go in the whole session now. Smash through it. Just over a minute to go. Keep those legs in and keep those that resistance on. Good work. One minute to go. One minute and then we're going to drop it down again. Make it a little bit easier. Drop it down to a seven out of ten. Three minutes. Thirty seconds to go. Keep pushing. We're still at that eight out of ten. Good work. Keep going. Twenty seconds to go now. 15, maybe that. in 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it back, seven out of 10 for three minutes. Sitting around 80 RPM. And just jump out the saddle. If you like, need to have a little shimmy around. Settle into that seven out of ten. Good work. Find that rhythm. Again, we're all going to be feeling very tired now. Maybe start to do things that we weren't doing at the start, like moving around, moving our shoulders, bringing our shoulders up. Make sure to keep those shoulders down, heels down. Nice and relaxed, good position on the bike. One minute down, two minutes to go now. Only seven minutes of the whole session left. So nearly there. So close. And it's only getting easier from here. So let's make the most of these last few minutes of work. Bit of everything in today's session. Worked at every different kind of intensity with a very short rest in between. Minute and a half now. Good work. Minute 15. Nearly there. So close. You can see that finish line. One minute to go now at seven out of ten. Then we're gonna go into a two-minute effort, then a one-minute effort, and then we are done. Forty seconds to go now. Good work guys. In a long old stint of effort. 30 seconds. Now we're gonna bring it down to six out of ten. Two minutes. 20 seconds. Ten. Four, 
three, two, one. Drop it down, six out of 10 for two minutes now. Stick into that 80 RPM. As we're nearing the end of the session, might fire a few questions out to the group. What has been your favorite race to watch on TV this year or take part in? You go first. Um, so I, I raced this year and I did the women's tour. Um, so that was really cool. That is basically a six day stage race um, in the UK. And it's UCI World Tour and that was pretty, really good experience. And I mean, you were racing with some of the best riders in the yeah, world. You had and world it was champions. amazing to just like race with the world champ, like, previous world champs and yeah, really cool to do it in the UK, especially after COVID and not really racing that much. So that was really cool. I'll let Emily say which one her favourite one was to watch. <laughs> <laughs> to watch? I, I love watching the classics. Um, I think they're all really exciting. And I guess this year we're quite lucky to have like Roubaix at the end of the season. To, like, yeah, that was one hell of a race yeah, to watch. That was really cool, as well. It kind of felt a bit like you're watching a cross race, so. Yeah. But it's a really long, painful one. <laughs> I can imagine. I'm quite glad I wasn't racing that one because yeah. it did look incredibly hard, especially just the skill you needed to just get around that race and stay upright. Yeah, definitely a good one for the spectators, maybe not so much for Definitely, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 20 more seconds to go now. There, then we're going to drop into our last effort, which is just one minute at five out of ten. So this is kind of the intensity that you'd be out on the road. So now into that five out of ten for one minute. Just taking a long, keep those legs turning. 80 RPM. The last little bit of session and the last block. We've made it through. 40 seconds to go now. How are we at the back? Still there, yeah? <laughs> I've achieved my goal. Absolutely smashed it today, everyone. Super good work. Just to get through this session is an achievement. So make sure to give yourselves a pat on the back after this. And maybe treat yourself to something nice because we've just been suffering on the bike for a whole hour. 10 seconds to go now. In five, four, three, two, one. And we can Ooh. drop it back. What a relief that is to start yeah. pedaling. Whack it in a nice easy gear. Bring that resistance all the way back. Hardly any resistance. You just turn your leg nice and easy. So we've got two minutes now. Just to relax, breathe, relax, give your back a stretch because we've been down in that position for quite some time. How would we sum that session up? Well, there are no, no words for that yeah, session. No <laughs> Just speechless. Just yes. Amazing session. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> it was so good though. It was, um, no, it was really good actually. It was, it's quite a good one. Um, it's quite a good one if, for the racers out there. It's quite good uh, for like solo efforts during a yeah. race. Like the attack in and just like keep them going or even when the race just like strings out a bit. Um, yeah, definitely felt the burn today. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It was a great session. We worked so hard. We had three 15 minutes blocks with very, very short rest in between. And it's quite hard to work for that amount of time. So if, you've def if you have made it through that session, well done. And give yourself a big pat on the back because that was one hell of an hour. We've got just, just over 30 seconds left of this cool down now. But you might want to stay on for a little bit longer. Spin those legs. Make sure your heart rate comes all the way down. Come on, that breathe in. Nice, easy pedaling. So you definitely all deserve a good recovery after that. We have actually got lots of other kinds of videos and features on the channel. 
And we've actually got some on recovery as well. So if you are in need of some recovery, make sure to check those out. And if you have enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and let us know what you thought of it down in the comments section below. We'll see you next time.